Good morning. It's Monday, February 6, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Light on My Path, and our scripture is Psalm 119. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. I've promised it once, and I'll promise it again. I will obey your righteous regulations. Habits, either good or bad ones, are formed in memory. This morning's text is one of the first I learned as a child. In those days, memory verses were part of Sunday school. We memorized and discussed a different verse each month. Now, many years later, that verse still calls to me. And that calling is not because of what I must do in parish work as a pastor, prepare sermons, counsel, help form the life, ministry, and worship of a congregation, but rather God's Word calls me to Him in the ordering and worship of my own life, one breath at a time. This devotional blog, Rocky Road, was born out of a dissatisfaction with my response to the calling. A decade ago, I felt a lack of discipline, a void of orderliness in reading and reflecting on God's Word. I felt unrest, blindness, dissatisfaction, so I did what Scripture offered. I recommitted my mornings to the light that guides my pathway. This was a twofold commitment. The first part was private. I wanted solitary time. I'm an introvert by nature, and with all those thoughts bumping around in my brain, it's difficult enough to concentrate. I need solitude. So the choice was to get up an hour or three earlier than anyone else. As I put these words on paper this morning, or on the computer screen, the only sounds are an occasional wind whipping by my window and the gentle snoring of my dog on the floor mat next to my desk chair. The second part of this commitment was public, knowing my track record of beginnings and fizzled attempts at routines, I needed some accountability. So early on I started publishing these early morning thoughts and reflections on God's Word for the congregations I served. In this way, I somewhat ruthlessly tapped into my introvert-born dread of public humiliation. A private promise to self can be rationalized away. A public promise to others before God is much more problematic, especially if a preacher wants to keep his job. Well, that's enough therapeutic confession for today. What's the point? The point is Psalm 119. God's Word as a guide, a light that opens up the truth of what's on the path ahead. And who wouldn't rather have insight when the darkness of uncertainty is all around us? For you today, dark times of economic uncertainty, pandemics, changing morality, and questioning even our very existence, planetary extinction, possibilities, war, aging, and what is in all those classified documents we all thought were so well guarded? Isn't it joy to your soul that God's Word is unchanging, unparalleled truth you can depend upon, and the best love letter ever written to you and me and everyone? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road.